Hello, this is uh, Ruth Pasuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you a report made with Google Analytics and Power BI uh, that measures how engaging your website content is. This report is going to keep you busy for months. So useful is it. Okay, so here is uh, the report and you will need a few things uh, to be able to build this report. Uh, first thing you will need is to install the depth scroll plugin to create this visualization and then you will need to have page categories. This is of course not mandatory but really useful you will see it later. Um, let me show you the scroll depth is a, a plugin made by these guys, thank you very much, that will allow you to see how far users scroll. You see, for example, we reached the 25% mark on the site, so you will get some uh, registering Google Analytics, continue down, scrolling down, we hit 50%. So it will send that to Google Analytics and then 75% and if you do scroll to the bottom you will see the 100% so every time it hits those marks it sends that to Google Analytics so you can measure that you can see how far your users scroll on your site really really useful to install these there is uh, GTM training Google Tab Manager if you're using that and uh, this guy has a very very good tutorial so you can literally even if you don't know anything about Google Tag Manager just follow it and you'll get there. If you still have any problems you can contact me and I can help you out. So if we go back to our site to our dashboard what you will see here is, let's do this a little bit bigger. So how much of your content does your visitors read? This is the entire content we haven't filtered by anything. So this is how the entire site has been performing all the years. And you don't see here 25, 75, you know, 50% and that kind of thing that I show you on the other page. Because I have changed that while building the measures. So I think it's easier to, to have words instead of these 10%, 50%. So basically what this does is when the page loads, it sends a baseline. And I have changed baseline for article loaded. When it hits 25%, it says I started reading. 50% read halfway, 75% read to the end of the content. And then 100% reach the bottom of the page. So if you want to build this and if you want to know how I did this, uh, there is a blog post. There is a blog post on the Microsoft Power BI community. And here you can see the step by step tutorial on how to do all that. For example, you see article loaded is when the event label is baseline and, and so on and so forth. So you will be able to build it yourself. If you don't want to build it yourself, you can go to our website. And if you are a member, it's free. You will be able to download the Power BI file so you don't have to recreate by yourself. So with everything with that said, let's go back to the dashboard and see how this beauty works. So, as we said before, uh, the first thing you see is that 24% of the time the pages were not read at all. That means that the users never scrolled past baseline or article loaded. Which I don't think is, is like very good. What you can do here is filter by year and by month. 
if you want to do that. So, if, so I want to see only 2015 and you can see that 2016, okay, it's fairly similar. You see that I'm doing better than in 2014, which is quite good. What you see here also is uh, page category. I have categorized the content of the site in three uh, main contents, blog pages, business pages, and glossary pages. There is a link down below on how to do that. And in, there is a previous dashboard that shows those categories and how it is performing. I think those two dashboards together work very, very well. But for example, I can see if I choose blog categories, my blog pages, I see that 80% of the time my pages were not very old. So it's performing actually better on the side of it altogether. I can see glossary 24, okay, not that good. And business pages is doing horribly, as you can see here, not very good. So I have some work to do there, definitely. What you can also see here are the page titles. You can see how far just for that particular page the user read. Which this is basically what will help you to understand this. For example, if we go like here, there is a page title that the read, reader only read to 4%. That is basically loaded and then went home, didn't want to see it. So you should do something about these pages that have low numbers where constantly, consistently, you can see that I haven't filtered by in a year, they are performing really, really, really bad. And then you can choose to see, okay, the business pages were absolutely horrible, what's going on? And then you can see that, okay, it's not that bad. It's just a you know, login page and register page that shouldn't... You don't spend time on that. You don't scroll. You just do what you have to do and then you move on. So that's quite good. I should probably categorize them. So in another like business admin or something, so I can take them away and actually understand how the business pages are performing. And here, it's not explained here in the dashboard what it does, uh, but it is basically a, a timer to um, manipulate the bounce rate on the site. So if a user stays on the page for 60 seconds, then it will trigger an event. And then you say, okay, this user did stay for longer than 60 seconds. So these together with uh, the actual scrolling, it will help me understand, okay, did they just scroll and leave or did they scroll and read? Did they actually spend the time on that page? So I hope that you found this uh, report and dashboard useful. If you did, you can either create it yourself, the links are down below, or you can download it on our site. Hopefully it will help you create the good content and modify the content that is not performing that well. Have a good night. Bye bye.